All right, today on a quick speed shop, I'm frantically trying to finish this Model A truck because I got to return it to my stepmom. You know those TV shows where they got like crazy deadlines and trying to get everything done on a vehicle for like no reason? Well, I kind of feel that way today because I've got like six things to fix on this truck and I got to load it up tomorrow morning. It's now almost six o'clock at night on a Friday night. I got to take it Saturday morning down to my stepmom and drop it back off. So I got a whole host of things I'm trying to fix. I just took out a, I had a temporary rubber soft plug in the head here, and I just put a rubber or a steel plug in in the, in the nail head head. So I got the coolant drained out a little bit for that. I made a big mess on the floor already. I've got a reseal the threads on the water temperature sensor over here in the other head, and then I got to refill the coolant. Hopefully it doesn't leak. I've got to adjust the headlights. There's a little ding in this headlight bucket. I got to try to get that out. I've got to change the pinion seal, and then I'm going to try to change the wiring to the uh, speedometer with a, with a uh, shielded cable to see if that makes the speedometer work better. But I'm getting down to the nitty gritty here. I've got to load this thing up and get it out of here. I'm mucking around with this, but on the way down, when we drop it off, I'm going to go to my sister's house and pick up my 1984 AMC Eagle station wagon. That was my first car that I drove all through high school and college. Uh, it's been off the road for about oh uh, seven eight nine years something like that now and it's been down at her house in storage for five years when i drop this truck off we're going to drive another hour and go pick that car up i haven't started it in five years so it's going to be kind of like a road kill type of deal where we go down and try to fire something dead up so i'm charging up the battery for that i'm going to take some gas with me and i got to change a wheel so we'll, tomorrow morning after i get all this dialed in hopefully We'll be on the road to this, drop this off, and then we'll cruise over to my sister's house to pick up that Eagle. We gooped up my uh, temperature sensor over there, got those sealed up, put the antifreeze back in. I also had a fuel leak I determined that in a line, so I worked, worked under the truck doing that. Had the tank siphoned out a whole bunch of gas. I had a heck of a time getting it stopped for a little while, but I got control of that. So now I'm filling up the motor and doing an oil change, and I'm using a... Uh, Brad Penn Grade 1, this is the uh, the racing oil, it's partial synthetic, it's the green oil, and I'm filling up a motor of this, i got 1040 here, and this comes from uh, Pennsylvania, where the only place they got green crude oil. You see this here when I pour it? This has zinc in it for the, the cam of this engine. Nice green Pennsylvania crude. Brad Penn's a good uh, oil for engines like this where you need the zinc for the cam. It has zinc and phosphorus to help with these older engines. So I'm going to get the sucker filled back up with oil, and then I got a roll the head, and I'm going to change the pinion seal. And then it should be almost ready to get ready to get rolling. It's getting late now. I've got to get it all buttoned up so tomorrow morning I can throw it on the trailer. That could have been dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing strapped down and get on the road. I'm over two hours late battling a coolant leak. I think I got it fixed. I'm gonna strap this thing down and hit the road. All right, I made it to my secret location. Here we are at the garage, bam. Let's open the door and see what happens. Oh! 
what's this? Hey, look. My long lost AMC Eagle Wagon. Let's see if we can get in here and get it fired up. Well, I said this thing is going to be here for like one year, and that was like five years ago. Let's see if it's still intact. It looks like it has a mouse in it somewhere. Oh. Oh, I forgot that door doesn't work. That door doesn't work. Kill me. There's a long door over here. It's a barn find. What? Camera's wrong. It is? Yeah. Hey, look at the tire. <clears throat> Tell me. Forgot to put it in there. I brought a tire, but apparently I planned ahead. And I already had one stashed from before. So I gotta go ahead and slap this on the front here. Let me go get the jack. Ah. Nothing wrong with that tire, only flat on the bottom. pumping anything. Look out, I'm coming out. Where's Grayson? Look out. Apparently, it's not pumping fuel to the carburetor, so I'm going to take the battery out before I kill it, hook up the winch, I'll winch it onto the trailer, I guess, and I'll have to take it home and monkey around with it back there. So let me do that. Back to the left. 
There we go, we got loaded up on here backwards. I got an old treadmill I'm taking with me for scrap. But this is a heck of a day. Dropped the Model A truck off. I forgot to film because we got all excited and got unloading with that. So the Model A truck's at my stepmom's house. I'm taking my Eagle back. I got to get this sucker running. And then I got to get my parts car going. But just a little short trip today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the bell over here on the back of the trailer. Bink! The, the circle. Hit it there to subscribe, hit the alerts, put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, and we'll see you again at the Quick Speed Shop.